Today in this video, let me show you how to upload or deploy a locally hosted a system or website into the live server using cPanel. As you can see, this is my Circle Management system. I've developed it using um, PHP and HTML and other basic styling technologies. Also, let me show you whether it works perfectly, a local server. Now you can see this is the dashboard or the login page. I'm going to first test it and login. This is to ensure that by the time we deploy it, it, we should be sure that the system was working perfectly. As you can see, this admin dashboard, the admin is able to manage so many things, manage loans, approvals, shares, or even inquiries able to approve them. Let's also, let's also check the module for the section for the member. Now, as a member, is able to do all these things. You can be able to request for withdrawals. Now, this system can't allow you because you don't have any funds. And also, to be able to see the shares, the accounts, and everything. So, that's just basically to see the system is what. So, let's get started. Since it's locally hosted, it depends on the system that you're going to use. Me, I'm using ZAMP. And ZAMP is one of the very best ones. So, if you open my files here, you can be able to see it in C drive on Windows. And under this, everything that you always do on ZAMP is on htdocs. Then now, inside this, you'll be able to see all your websites. So, in this case, this, is, this one is called SMS. So, what I'm going to do is make sure that I right-click on it and send to zip. Or in case you don't do this, you can just click on share and click zip. Now, this is a zipped file that we need. Now, let's export our database. So I'm going to zoom here, then make sure that this Apache and MySQL are running. Then you just click on admin. You can see all the databases that you have in your system. Now our interest on this SMS here. So I'm going to click on it and then you come to export. Here you're going to click custom and then select all what you need right here. So I'm just going to move down and you can see the object creation options. This you can be able to check this in case you don't want to create a database but if, since in this video we're going to create a database afresh we actually don't need this option however i just let me leave it on because there's something i want to show you afterwards then also going to click this add the drop table view and the rest of this after that you're just going to scroll down and click export now you can see our file has been downloaded it's actually in downloads we shall be able to find it later right here so we can close this my php admin also we can close this let me just log into the cpanel and recreate a subdomain cpanel i use orange host it's uh, one of the very best i've been using however i changed it recently due to other factors i'm now using hostinger in case you need a very good hosting please check in the description you'll be able to get a very powerful hosting that i'm using currently for all my websites and all my clients now for this let me log in under this this is the cpanel dashboard and i'm going to scroll down to create a subdomain go to domains click domains and create a new domain and then you're going to just type the new subdomain that you need start with the name of the subdomain this i'm going to call sms then make sure that you put dot and the root domain that is already there on your website or you do, dot org just that once that make sure that this is unchecked the, if you click share that means that subdomain is going to be part of the the root domain and it will not it will not be useful so you just click submit perfect you can see we have already created successfully created the subdomain and our subdomain is right here now let's try to visit our subdomain because we have created it so you see now when you, when you visit you just see the index of you see there's nothing right here in it now let's upload all our zip files into this. So I'm going to open uh, in cPanel, go to open file manager. Then we open this sms.org. Then you click upload. Select the file and make sure that you know the directory where it is. Mine is under ZAM, um, htdocs and it's a zip, it's here. Click on it and you wait it to upload. It's a hundred percent. Let me go back. And now you can see the file. It's a sms.zip. We need to extract this file from this zip. So right click on it, click extract. Then don't change anything here. Just click extract. After that, close this and go back to this uh, folder. We don't need actually it to be inside this. I'm going to double click on it. Then you click select all and then you click move. Remove this, we don't need it to be in this folder. So you're going to remove all this even the forward slash, then you click move. 
after that you click back and you can see if you click on this uh, directory you'll be able to see all your files right here so i'm going to delete this folder we don't need it anymore and then also we don't need the zip unless you worry that you have issues but it, this may might make your website heavy so i'm going to remove it as well and that is it so now let me visit this again and we see right now we cannot be able to visit because the database is not created and it's not connected so the next thing that we need to do is create the database for the system right now there's a database file here if i open it and edit you'll be able to see the the connection right here which was i used locally but now we need to create a new connection online so now i'm going to import the database so now in this case you come to cpanel and come to databases under this there are about four options that you can see here there is my php admin there is manage my databases and database wizard for this case we're going to use manage my databases because most service providers or hosting providers they sometimes don't allow you to create databases using my php admin so in this case i'm going to use manage my databases now you'll be able to see something like this create a new database so i'm going to create a database called sms as simple as that so please note that this extension which is already pre-filled here it's going to add this into this so i'm going to create it and ensure that you copy everything that you finish right now i have this database name so i'm going to copy this open text editor and put here db name now go back now we need a user for this database you're going to move down click user so i'm going to create maybe user sms user one okay let me create user two then the, the password i encourage you to use password generator because it's more secure copy this and come here and create db password once you finish that you can go ahead and say i've checked it then use a password then create the user also make sure that you copy this we have created a username so you go back to db user now once finished go back and the next thing that you have to do is give this user the privileges of managing the database so you're going to scroll down and select add user to database here and then you select which user is that it's oyudo user 2 and then you're going to select which database do you want to add it is oyudo.sms and then you click add check all privileges then make changes perfect now once we finish that what we're going to do now is go back to cpanel and we're going to look for the file for database connection so go to file manager and come down to sms.oyudo.org make sure that you follow your directory because this is mine then the file is here it's db.php then you click edit then edit again it's going to come here. let me zoom it a little bit now you see host host name you can leave it as localhost then the username uh username is here it's oyudo.username2 so i'm going to remove this sms and put it here save it then um password i'm going to copy this then you paste it here and finally we're going to copy the database name and put it database here now after that you save the changes so when i come back to refresh this page boom it's working so now since our system is working let's import the database because now i can't be able to log in when i try to log in right now so when i try to log in you see the system is not able to log in because we don't have the data so let's import our database so i'm going back to uh, cpanel and this time round, i'm going to use uh, my php admin and then you go to uh, this database is here then you select the database that you need to import the data to so this one is going to be sms then you go to import and now you're going to select the file remember it's in downloads then you click open then you scroll down and import you can see this is what i told you earlier that the system the database is going to bring if this if 
the service provider or the hosting company that you're using is allowing you to create databases using my php admin but for this case it's denying us access to that meaning we don't need this command of creating the database in case it's missing so now what i'm going to do is ensure that i'm going to remove this so i'm going back to downloads then open this file with vs code and now you can see this command is here i'm going to remove it all plus even this comment but even if you leave the comment then you're going to save it we can close this and now we go back to this section click import and select the file again now we're going to click import perfect you can see it has imported with 89 queries sms.sql now let me visit our system again sms.oyudo.org you can see it's now perfect i can be able to log in as a member and check it very good you can see member login it's showing everything is working perfectly let me log out and see the admin dashboard pick this admin user perfect you can see admin is perfectly working by the way this code this script or this uh, script is available on my link you can check the link in case you need it uh, right now it's free if you can hurry to check it out so that is it in case you have any comments leave it in the comment section thank you very much and bye